Uh, this is awkward and random, but I got a bidet. So I thought I would film that experience. <laughs> it feels really awkward to film in my bathroom on my toilet. Uh, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I am really into environmental sustainability and trying to live in a way that is as eco-friendly as possible in my day-to-day -day life. And I do this in a variety of ways. About a year ago, I started using Who Gives a Crap Toilet Paper, which is made from 100% post-consumer paper. And there's no plastic. It comes in this like paper tissue. You buy it in bulk. It's super great. I love it. Either way, this was my sustainable upgrade from regular toilet paper last year. And I've seen a lot about bidets because of kind of the part of YouTube and social media that I personally am subscribed to and consume. Um, and so I've seen like a lot of reviews about bidets and people um, sharing their experience about it as like a sustainable upgrade to stop using toilet paper or to use less toilet paper. Um, and I've never used one. And based on the fact that I've seen a lot of stuff about it, I was curious about it, but never curious enough to buy a bidet. One of those eco-friendly swaps that I have been avoiding, knowing that it's a smart option and choosing to not do anything about it. But randomly today, I was on Facebook Marketplace and somebody was giving away a bidet for free. So, so um, I got a bidet for free. Uh, so this is the Bio Bidet, um, the BBC 70 model. I know nothing about this bidet, absolutely nothing. Um, the content that I usually see about bidets is usually about the tushy. Um, so I've never heard of this brand, but for a free bidet, I was like, cool. Now, this is literally all that I got. Um, I got the bidet itself and then a bag of like the hose and hookup stuff. Um, so it didn't come with instructions or anything. Uh, I did Google it and it is like a $50 bidet, if you're curious, um, which is cool. I got a $50 thing for free, love that. And also, um, it looks like I have all the things that I need. But either way, since I've never done this before, I thought it would be fun to film and share with y'all. Yeah, I did clean my toilet before we started filming because we're, we're gonna get real personal today, I guess. Okay, so the first step is obviously going to be taking off the toilet seat. Um, and I guess there's just some like screws under here that I have to unbolt. So that's what we're starting with. So the bidet is now on the toilet. Um, now I have to hook it up to the water stream. So, yay! Oh, I have to turn off the water first. Oh my God, that would have been a disaster. Okay, wow. Okay, so I got the water out of resin like toilet water holder thing I don't know what this is um so it's out I'm gonna put my birth back in <laughs> I keep this in my toilet so that it doesn't fill all the way and then I don't use as much water when I flush so fun fact I just thought it would be a good tip to show you so <laughs> the installation. Ooh, 
literally just struggled to get the water hooked up again and finally got it done and then realized that the washer fell out. So now I have to undo it. Uh, okay, I'll see you in a minute. Guess we're doing this again. Success! Well, okay, I haven't actually tried it yet, so I don't know if it works, but it's installed. And that's impressive because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So <laughs> that's fun. I guess I'll let you know when I try it. <laughs> Why am I so nervous though? Mmm, <laughs> okay. Definitely gonna get some taking use to. Checking in from my couch instead of my bathroom. <laughs> um, so this has been an adventure and I am gonna stop this vlog here for now. And I think I'm going to check in in like a week and let you know my thoughts. Hello again, it has been about two weeks I think since I got the bidet and I realized that I never actually updated you on my thoughts. So basically what I ended up doing is um, after setting up the bidet I tried to use it for the next few days and realized that out of habit I kept using the toilet paper instead. So I actually had to take the toilet paper off of like the toilet paper spot and hide it underneath my cabinet. So in order for me to use it, I have to actively go out of my way to get the toilet paper. Um, and otherwise, I just use the bidet. Um, and obviously, I'm quite literally shooting water up my ass. <laughs> um, so then my butt's just like really wet, which is a thing. So what I ended up doing is I cut up some scraps of fabric. Um, there's nothing special about these. These are literally some old tank tops that were broken and um, not fixable so I cut them up and I've been using these to dry myself off after I've been cleaned by the water and then I just throw those right in the washing machine because it's literally next to my bathroom the one that I have is pretty basic so uh, it's just like cold water um, which I thought would be like more jarring than it actually is most of the time it doesn't even phase me that it's cold water it doesn't have like half settings like it goes from like one which is barely on to two still barely on to three which is like full power jet stream and like so I end up having to go up to three and then down to two and a half and that's like my preferred setting so that that was weird to try to figure out it's been interesting and uh, I definitely don't mind using it I feel clean afterwards and it definitely wasn't as difficult to adjust to as I thought it would be. So yeah, for free, it was a great investment. That's really all I had to say about the bidet situation. Um, yeah, thank you for watching this random vlog. Bye.